All right, I'm going to show you my uh, CDs here. Yeah, Fadest Track Star. That's a really obscure one done by a band called Three Brain. They had a popular song called We, which is actually kind of funny. Go check it out online. Yeah, Dreams Come True. That's that Japanese pop group that tried to release an album in the U.S. and it bombed. Yeah, see any of those anywhere ones. Ohm, that's like a relaxation tape. And of course, Kiss and an Excess. White Snake, Stevie Wonder, and Pelletier, one of the more obscure '80s guitarists, shred guitarists, but one of the better ones in my opinion. Oh yeah, those are video game music right there. It's Japanese ones. Actually, I think I bought these when I was little. Chrono Cross soundtrack, Final Fantasy VII. Yeah, don't mention that, please. The one down there is George Michael. Don't ask me why I bought it. I honestly don't know. Here's the really rare ones like Dance Mix, of course, Criss Cross. This one, let me see. Oh, just an empty case. That makes a lot of sense. I can't get it back in there. Do it there. Desmond Child, yeah, he's a keyboarder that wrote music for Bon Jovi and Kiss, even. He wrote I Was Made for Loving You, that was on, I think, the last album they released in the 70s. Mega Man, which is music from the, I thought it was video game music, turns out it's from some stupid anime show they had on TV a long time ago. La Buche, they're known for, uh, that song goes la la da dee da da da. Alright, Skilo, yeah, another compilation. And, I don't think there's a Technotronic. Mm, there's another, I think that's Dragon Warrior, or Dragon Quest in Japan, compilation down there. Here, I got Def Leppard, Spin Doctors, an Arista compilation, cheaply done. Every song like, leads into the other one, because they didn't cut it right. Uh, George Michael again, ignore that. <laughs> there's my album I did, which went nowhere. Of course it was bad quality too. Uh, Culture Club, again, don't mention that. Hmm. Savage Garden. Right. Well, that's it for this one. Go down here. I'll try to. Okay. Scorpions, ACDC. Mr. Mr. Backstreet Boys. Yeah, my dad gave me that one. He found it in a car. He's repossessing. Weird Yankovic. 12 VH Tupac. Rapper's Delight. Yeah. Good old Sugar Hill Gang. Meat Love, Culture Beat, Magic Mike. Easty Boys. I have a zombie, Scarface. I'm kind of running out of room here. Oh yeah, Hartley Crew, Ren and Stimpy. And that's Rush on the bottom there. See? Pokemon. Journey. Millennium Hip Hop Party, Matrix. A Good Kid Joe, Styx. Kiss, I got like every freaking Kiss album I've ever made. At least 12 or 13 of them. Yeah, the Sonic Boom one down there, that's the newest one they made. Also, I want to turn it like this. And Guns N' Roses, of course. Ace Frehley, the Kiss guitarist. Rob Zombie again. One down there. It's really hard to see, but it's an Ace Frehley album. It's faded. I think it's Trouble Walking. Okay. Mortal Kombat. Both the two soundtracks. Uh, Vinnie Vincent, Guitar from Hell, that's a bootleg piece of shit I got ripped off of online. Uh, well, not exactly ripped off, it was just stupid. I thought I could find an authentic demo copy of an album that only exists in 500 copies for less than $100. Turns out the album is actually over $500 just for one demo copy. Authentic one, anyway. That album was never released along with Guitar Mageddon. This album, the EP, is actually signed by him number 344 for some sort of fan club that went under pretty quick. Um, Vinny, it's kind of hard to tease out what happened, but there's something online you might want to check out. Do a search for Decibel Geek Podcast. Um, he goes through people that knew Vinny, people that worked with him. They all say he's an ethical jackass likes to rip off his fans. There's two incidents where he ripped off a song from a band called Sin, 
It's called On the Run. He rewrote the track a little bit and put it on as Let Freedom Rock on the All Systems Go album, which is that one right there. And they were going to sue him, but he just started out at the time. So the person he ripped off, so he didn't have the money, of course. Also, there's another instance where he sold a fan a guitar for 3000 claiming that it was a rare model that he designed back in the 80s. But someone ran the serial numbers and found out that it was a cheap remake you could find for $500 in the guitar store at that time. So, yeah, he's a pretty fucked up person by most accounts. I was willing to give him the benefit of the doubt, but yeah, not anymore. Anyways, Archives Volume 1, Speedball Jam, which I paid, I think, like 15 bucks for that. It's $35 when it came out. Just one giant 70 minute track of guitar shredding, basically. I'll show you the cover. Okay, Felix Cavalier, founder of the Rascals, of course. Um, Michael Jackson, yeah, I got a number of those crap load of Alice Cooper albums. Even more crap load of Malmsteen albums. Oh, jeez, I have at least 15 of those. But, yeah, he's a great guitarist, so. Of course, his ego is about the size of Vinny's, too, from what I heard. Lita Ford, that solo she did with Ozzy Osbourne. And, let's see, there's one more, I think. Uh, yeah, Megadeth. And. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, all three soundtracks. Um. That's the three band album I was talking about that has that song B on it. I made the cover myself because it came in a really, really cheap, like, envelope with no cover. So I just printed one out. That's why it looks like shit, so. I'm gonna give some of the bitch. Okay. M&M, Vanilla Ice. Yeah, I've got three of those. I don't know, just to collect them for some reason. Genesis. Bill McCoy, Terminator 2. Benatar, Marilyn Manson albums, at least six of those, three Bon Jovi albums, and Aerosmith Pump, Green Day, Nine Inch Nails, two of those, R.E.M., what is that on there, oh yeah, Above the Law, Black Mafia Life, there's one album that there's I'd like to get, but it's almost impossible, Uncle Sam's Curse, it's like 40 bucks a piece, because Ruthless Records went out of business, so everything they released is fucking expensive as hell. Unfortunately, there's two REO albums. Four Non Blondes, a one hit wonder, the Chrono Trigger soundtrack, and the Chrono Cross soundtrack. I have two copies of that because I bought one and found out it was a fucking uh, pirated copy released by a company called Ever Enemy. I think this is the authentic one. I think. Maybe. Let me look at the inside. Yeah, this is certain here. Yeah, that's the authentic one. The fake one had uh, pictures of the characters on the discs. This one has the authentic discs in it. The real discs. I think I have that one up here somewhere. Yeah, there it is. The cheap pirated one. Yeah, see what I mean by being cheap? You can tell they didn't do a very good job on it. On the side we have... Alright, that's about it, I guess. Next I'll be showing you my DVD collection. Once I get done with this and try to get it shit off this table, I'll show you it. That's it.